Hi there. Thanks for watching this video on how to import a multi-chapter test into My Culinary Lab 2012. Now the individual chapter tests for Levensky's On Cooking are found in the instructor resource item of My Culinary Lab. However, there's not an easy way to combine chapters. So if you wanted to administer a multi-chapter test within your My Culinary Lab course, you are going to have to first get a hold of the test generator test bank for the textbook. So if you go to the Instructor Resource Center or the pearsonhighered.com forward slash educator website and go to the resources for the textbook, you'll notice when you scroll down, there's a link to the Test Gen Computerized Test Bank for the book. Now the first thing you're going to need to do is download the test gen software. So to do this, you'll simply go to this website and download the software and then it will be located on your computer. The next thing you're going to need to do is download the test bank. Now once you have downloaded the test bank, you'll be able to get it into your test gen software. So once you open up your test gen software, you can go to file and add a test bank to library, find the test bank that you saved on your computer and open it and then it will reside in your test bank library within test gen. Now you can see for um, in this uh, video I have a lot of different test banks here but your on cooking fifth edition will then be located in your test bank library. So to create a multi-chapter test that you can then import into my culinary lab 2012 you're going to start on the right side of the page here in test gen and you're going to create a web test. When you choose web test, you're going to pick the QTI version to create your test and select OK. Now you've got your blank slate that you can use to create your test. So we're going to go into the on cooking um, test bank and let's say you wanted to do a test over chapters one, two, and three. You could open up your chapters and either drag and drop questions over onto your test or select questions and um, either using control click or shift click select more than one question at a time and then drag them over. So once you have your questions from one chapter, you could then go and select questions from the next chapter. Make sure that the questions that you're adding to your test are only multiple choice and true and false questions if you want my culinary lab to automatically grade your test. If you add essay type questions to your test, then you are going to have to go in and manually grade those questions on the test. So for time purposes, I'm going to go ahead and stop there. You can see I've added nine questions from a couple different chapters to my test. Now in order for these to import worth one point in my test, I need to select all of these questions and then I'm going to assign a point value of one point to each question. I could, if I wanted to, make it worth more than one point a question. It's really up to you. But I'm going to select that they're worth one point. If you don't do this step, when you import the questions, they default to 10 points a piece just so you know. So you might want to go in and make sure that you select a point value that represents uh, you know, how many points you want total on the test. So we'll click OK. And now our test is ready to uh, export. So we're going to click on File up here in the left corner and Export. We're going to export it as a QTI file and click OK. And I'm going to go ahead and save um, this to my tests and call it um, on cooking one and two and save. Now I've exported the test. It's going to be in a zip file. So that's great. That's the kind of file that we can uh, upload using um, the import feature of My Culinary Lab 2012 for test gen. So now I'm going to hop over into my course and the first thing I need to do is add an assessment to my course. So to add something to my course, I'm going to click on the left modify menu button and I'm going to go to add and arrange. And when you click on the add and arrange tab, you'll be able to add an item to your course menu and um, tell the, um, the lab what kind of item you want it to be.
Now I'm just going to add it to my main course menu. If you wanted to add it within a particular area of your menu, you would simply click on that area and go into the, the uh, menu item where you wanted to add it. And you'll notice when you do that, you can add an item nested beneath um, another area. But here I'm just going to go ahead and add it to my main level. So I'm going to click on add new item to main level. And when I select item type, I'm going to click assessment. So I'm going to call this chapter one, oh, excuse me, chapter one and two test. And I'm going to select it as gradable so that there's a column for it in the grade book. And we know that it's going to be nine points. I'll go ahead then and click save. And I'm adding an assessment item to my course menu. When this is done being added, I'll get a notice at the top of my screen that it was added and I can go ahead and close out of the light box. So now in my menu, you'll see if I scroll down, here is my chapter one and two test. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the test and you'll see that nothing has been added yet to the test. I'm going to modify uh, and click import. And this is where I can select my package type as test gen. And when I choose my file, I'm going to go into my files here and I have um, my test folder inside a test gen folder. And there's my tests and I'll scroll down and find on cooking one and two. And there it is. And I'll open it. And now I can upload and import my file. Now it takes a second to upload. I can click OK and you'll notice that you can click on the status to see if it has imported yet. And now it's been completed. So now when I click on my chapter one and two test, you'll see that my assessment is there and ready for my students. I can go in now and by manage assessment, I can manage the settings of this test. For example, I could schedule it with an availability window here. I could say that I want the, uh, the students to be able to see their score on the test without their answers or with their answers on a particular date. I can configure it to be allowed to be taken multiple times. Um, all, otherwise, it will just be allowed to be taken one time. I can set a time limit or take off a time limit. The default is 60 minutes. Now, a really important thing is that you're going to want to change the setting here to display score to student and post to the grade book. Otherwise, when your students submit the test, you're not going to be able to see their score and you're have, going to have to go in and manually um, through the view details, see what they got and then add it to the grade book. So you're going to want to change results features to display scores to student and post to grade book and click save changes. Now you'll be able to have your students take a multi-chapter test from within my Culinary Lab 2012. Thanks so much for watching.